Hello, I'm Marilyn Green with the Trinity Movement Choir, now greatly expanded. Um, when the shutdown occurred with the COVID virus, the Trinity Movement Choir was three days away from a huge performance of the three-part creation uh, with projections and all kinds of magical effects. We were, like everyone else, crushed not to be able to give the performance. And the next month was a lot of confusion and isolation about how long it was going to be and what we should do. And then we began to rehearse online. And we thought the best thing we could do was create a piece that would take us through this time and give us intention for what's to come. And that turned out to be the way of the Phoenix, which we're dancing tonight. Um, the Way of the Phoenix is meant to be a journey, starting with the acknowledgement of all we're going through. So the first section you'll hear called the prologue is a, a recurrent thrumming sound, some silence, some more of this thrumming bass in which we dance the pain we felt, the frustration, the anger, the sorrow, the isolation and despair at times and the lack of, of energy. We have to acknowledge these things. Then you'll hear the beginning of the musical part of the piece composed by Debbie Danbrook, the first woman master of the shakuhachi, and it is ravishing. The story of the phoenix most everybody knows is a story of death and rebirth. And just before the phoenix dies, it sings one last absolutely ravishing song. So we will dance that. And the dancers who do that part of it are dancing what they're letting go of in the past and what they envision for the future. The phoenix dies in one flap of its wings that creates a thunderclap. And then we have right after that, the rising of the phoenix where the phoenix goes into its new world, its new life. And we're going to dance exactly what we dream for that new life. Then all the dancers will come back for the last section, which is the tears of the phoenix meant to heal the world. So those are the sections of the dance. The style is drawn mostly from Bhutto, partly the very deep, slow hypnotic movement, but even more Bhutto's goal, not to show off what the human body can do necessarily, but to transform, to transform the dancers and to transform the audience. So in that spirit, we will now dance for you the way of the Phoenix. And I want you to know that the bond that's been created across space is absolutely amazing. Many of these dancers have rehearsed with us twice, one hour each, and they have built themselves into the structure and created a, a touch that is so encouraging for doing dance in this way in the future. I hope you enjoy it. 